Jeremiah 49 verse 10, but I have made Esau bad. I have uncovered his secret places and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors and he is not. <coughs> Barak of thy how, Barak of thy how shall. Barak of thy how, Barak of thy how shall. Call her law, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall. I'd like to give a shout out and salute to the brothers across the four corners of the earth preaching the truth so we can sit their elect so we can go home. Now, this is making us rounds. Everybody know about Joe Biden gaffing and not holding his tongue back. And it seemed like he's not on his meds or something. And he get mad and he cussing people out. And it's not the first time he did this. Maybe he uh, cussed out a, uh, a worker, you know. But, hey, you know, the Most High is allowing him to do that. You know, allowing these people for their, their tongues to fall, Okay. So yeah, let's get into it. Cause this this is um this seemed like this is a small issue, but this is a very serious issue, and you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Mr. President, could you give us a brief update on your call with European leaders on what's happening in Ukraine today? Why are you sending 8,500 trips to Ukraine, possibly? Will you take questions on inflation, then? Thank you. Thank you all. Do you think inflation is a political liability? And see, here it is. He cussing people out. And, and this, is, this is more signs of who Dr. E is. They don't want to take responsibility for nothing. Listen to what else he said. He talking about he don't like doing things. And here it is. He the president. You know, he, he's supposed to be responsible for the, for the actions, okay, that happen with this country, okay? Now, now watch what he says. Leaders on what's happening in Ukraine today. You see? He don't want to do this. He don't want to do that. See, all this is the, this the most I expose in Esau, and it gets better, okay? And see, he got mad, but everybody's following Babylon, okay? Jeremiah 51, verse 7, Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand. He that made all the earth drunken, the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Yeah, and as you check these countries that have been following Babylon, they're all starting to uh, pop up on the misery index. It says only five countries because I did a report on this. But, hey, this is going to segue into something else because the whole earth been following the ways of Babylon. Okay? Only five countries are, <clears throat> forgive me, more miserable than Canada. Spain is the worst, worst with a misery index score of 17.61, followed by Greece. Iceland, other notable countries, mainly uh, Western, um, uh, Western influence countries that follow Babylon, Canada, France, United States, Australia, and United Kingdom. You see, they say Switzerland and Japan are the least miserable countries, and I, I don't buy that neither. You know, because you got protests all over the planet now. You know, and he he getting mad. Gaffing and cussing people out because of inflation. But well, once this inflation hit all these countries, they gonna want want to know what the hell is going on, okay? And now they all they hey, they all gonna be going at each other's neck pretty soon, okay? Are you sending eighty five hundred trips to Ukraine possibly? Thank you guys. Let's Will move. you take questions on Let's inflation move. then? Let's move. Thank you. Thank you. Do you all. think inflation is a political liability ahead of the midterms? And see, he getting mad with that smirk on his face, but the most high is getting ready to wipe the smirk off all these Edomites' face. Okay? And see, this left party, I mean, not the left, the right party, um, yeah, since the most high is pulling them apart, they're getting ready, man. Trump holding um, rallies all over the country now, you know?
It's like he back on the scene, okay? First, Arizona in the national headlines yet again as former President Donald Trump is set to be front and center at a rally in Florence tonight. It is, it is his first such appearance of the year. Now, we will have a live look momentarily where it will begin. But first, we want to show you all of our team coverage for tonight. You can count on Arizona's family. Our David Caldebiano will tell us what is drawing supporters there. And our Amy Cutler sat down with gubernatorial candidate. Yeah, and, and some of his Trump reporters are saying some of the craziest things. Think they always call everybody pedophiles, calling them the left pedophiles, calling politicians uh, pedophiles, and they got the truth. Um, <clears throat> New Gingrich talking about um if the GOP getting the uh, power again, they they gonna lock all these uh people up, you know. So now they both trying to lock each other up. You see, next instead of them, you see how they cussing each other out, calling each other different names. Joe Biden out here calling people sons of bitches, you know. So yeah, they talk they they talking they talking real greasy to each other real soon. Okay, they get ready to get greasy, and Esau gonna use his blessing. Okay, which is these weapons. They ain't going to use it against each other. And see, it's causing all these pandemic woes. You got people marching all over the place. Okay. You got, um, look at what Russia said. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this play. Okay. This mass hysteria that's popping off. Okay. And, and now you got the um, NATO countries. They, they starting to split up. See? Esau against Esau. Egyptian against Egyptian. You see that? And see this one, um, David and El Saul was against each other. This is Second Samuel two verse sixteen, and they caught every one his fellow by the head and thrust his sword in his fellow side, so they fell down together. Whereas for that place was called Hakazamarum, which is in Gideon, and there was a very sore battle that day, and Abner was beaten and the men of Israel before the servants of David. Yeah, you see? In the same way we fought each other, these people, they get ready to fight each other, okay? But, hey, you know what it says. The beast shall hate the whore, okay? It seemed like, um, I'm going to get the report after I play this. They're saying that uh, NATO is starting to break up because they can't agree on this uh, Russia situation. Half of them uh, is with Russia secretly. The other half is not, you know, um... They said China been buying off politicians um, in the UK. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go and play this right quick. See, the same way we went against each other, the most high going to have these people go against each other. Except it's going to be on a much larger scale because these, these, these nukes are going to go off. Well, the Kremlin today rejected essentially every accusation that has been thrown at it by the West in recent days, calling it information hysteria, denying any intent to invade, essentially portraying this as uh, entirely a figment of the collective Western imagination, possibly the intelligence services in the West as well. They also lashed out at Western weapons deliveries to Ukraine, saying all this is going to accomplish in the end is encouraging what they say are the hotheads in the government in Kyiv to attack Eastern Ukraine. Now, it's very, very important to follow that narrative. If Russia decides that it is going to go into Ukraine, it will be painted as defensive. And so this is something that I think later this week, after the United States delivers its response to Russia, we need to be watching out for. Shep? Yeah, and see, now they're saying that um, Croatia is taking Russia's side, okay? Because a lot of people don't, don't know that um, Ukraine... Um, they used to be very close with um, Russia, whiz, though. Um, was it Gorbachev? A lot of his family came from um, Ukraine. He might even be Ukrainian. I'm, had, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do some research on it. Somebody could put the correct information in the bottom. Okay. Yeah, see, they breaking up and soon 
Like I said, instead of them having staves at each other, they're going to have guns, nukes, rocket launchers, um, submarines, you know, an end of days conflict. And then it's going to be the end of Esau where Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. You see, and this is from the Guardian. MI5 accuses lawyer of trying to influence politicians on uh, behalf of China. Okay. An unprecedented security warning from MI5 was circulated to MPs and peers on Thursday to accuse the lawyer, Christine Lee, of seeking to improperly influence parliament, parliamentarians on behalf of China's ruling Communist Party. Okay. It says, um... Yeah, see, they throwing money around. I'm not gonna read the whole thing, okay? You can um, you can read it in your leisurely, cause it's everywhere. Yeah, see, you know how Esau is. He love money, okay? So he 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 sell he sell his own son his own son out for money, okay? His own brother, okay? Which he do to you, Jakes, all the time, all right? And this is Obadiah uh, 1 verse 5. If thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers come to thee, would they not leave some grapes? You see? This man, he don't want to leave you nothing. He ain't going to leave us. He ain't going to leave other Edomites nothing. He going to leave their ass out to dry. That's why they That's why they, they say that, um, what, half of America is, is pretty much under the poverty line now? Depending on where you live at in the country, those those are Edomites. Yo, know, majority of them are Edomites. Jake always been messed up. We're gonna be messed up until uh Yahweh Yahweh Shah um, you know, come and give us salvation. But other than that, Jake will always be screwed up. You know, that's just the curses on us. You see what I showed you what happened to my account, my account, my four one K, all that shit. That shit in the toilet, you know. But the water to the most high for allowing me to find this truth. This is where the real rich is at. Call her lawyer, how about she may always shout. Yeah, see, Germany blocks NATO ally from transferring weapons to Ukraine. See that? Because secretly a lot of people don't know that notice that Germany and Russia always been close. Okay? At the uh, World War II. I know they was all fighting each other. You know, uh, over twenty million Russians got killed when they was fighting against other Nazis. But hey, nowadays for the past uh, 10 years, they kind of been getting close. Really longer than that. You know, since um, the Soviet Union collapsed. This is an old clip, but you can tell it's been brewing for years now. Majority of Germans wouldn't support. Let me close that out. Defending NATO allies in Russian conflict. See, a lot of Edomites going to leave other Edomites out to dry all across the world. Okay? Here in the States. Here in these different wars. You know? Same stuff that happened to us, Gary, happening to them on a larger scale. France says Putin trying to bypass EU over Ukraine by talking solely to the U.S. Yeah, because they don't feel as though a lot of these EU countries are a threat because a lot of them EU countries, they actually used to be part of the Soviet Union. A few of them, okay? They 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 know uh, the power that Russia had, especially with them damn ICBMs, them seeking one and two missiles. And they right on Russia doorstep. They're not trying to get hit by none of that. Okay? It's Isaiah 13, verse 8. And they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed at one another. Their faces shall be as flames. See? See, the most high you have all these people go against each other in this uh, war. But eventually, everybody going to turn against um, Babylon, okay? All right, this is Revelation 17, verse 16. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, okay? Yeah, so here it is. Uh... Old sleepy creepy Joe, he's mad because people who's calling him out on inflation and different issues. Well, all this is affecting the whole world now. So other nations gonna start calling them out and calling each other out as they doing and trying to figure out why the hell is they get ready going to war with Russia. But it don't matter. The will of your how about me how it shall be done. Okay? So yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family right quick. I'm gonna play this one more time and close it out. Alright. Why are you sending 8,500 trips to Ukraine, possibly? Thank you.
Will you take questions on inflation then? He's smiling. Do you think inflation is a political liability out of the midterm? And see the most high, he get ready to close all this out, you know, and show Dr. E, you know, the foolishness, you know, well, the, the wise of this world, the wise of this world is foolishness to the uh, most high, okay? See, this man, he was the real stupid son of a bitch. So, yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family right quick. I'm going to go and shut it down. Hopefully, you're as edified as I was. And on to the next one. Shalom.